Yo viewers, today is March 27th, 2021, and the spring is upon us, and the weather is warm enough to be outside, so it's time to clean the yard. Got some signs of spring showing up around the place. The stupid honeysuckle is already green. Trees are starting to grow leaves. Now the yard is a mess. The fence is all broken. That broke last year. I gotta finish taking that tree down. Well, let's see what we gotta do here. Gotta clean all this out. All the um, expired raspberry sprouts have to come out. And the existing ones have to be trimmed back under control. The grapevine has just completely fallen off. So I think I'm going to have to start pruning this and keep it under control. All this junk's got to get out of there. I did clean out the leaves several times in the fall. And it looks like it, it was adequate because not many blew back. There's just a light collection of leaves here and there. I didn't remove them from Monero, so that's a different story, but out here, you know, it's pretty good. So, I'll just do a, a blowing to get all those out, and that won't be too bad. I did some work today. I cleaned this area out. For years, there was a pile of sticks there, and I just, I was tired of it being there. <laughs> Because I think it was attracting, well, I know it was attracting, like, creepy crawly bugs, but I think it was, it was attracting some, like, gnats and other flying bugs. And it was kind of ugly. Because when I first started putting the yard junk over here, it was just a convenience factor because the garden was right there. That was before I started building over here. So, it was kind of a uh, lack of foresight that I may use this area at some point. So, the sticks is gone. And all of the junk is gone. It was starting to compost, so there's some, there's some nice soil there. I don't know, maybe I'll plant something there. I just moved it all over there for now. That's good enough. It's not ideal either, but it's what it is. I wasn't expecting to be in this location still, but because of the way the world is right now, it looks like I'm going to be here at least for the spring if not longer. So for what it's worth, I might as well make the yard enjoyable. So some of the lights are screwed up. That one's got like pumpkin guts on it for some reason. And uh, the rest of them, they fared okay. A couple of sticks fell and took a chip out of that one. Gotta go in from the inside and put hot glue in there so water doesn't get in there. And then, uh, what else happened? I think that was it for really damage. It wasn't a harsh winter. Really didn't have any problems this winter. And it was a short winter too. I remember last year when uh, it was around this time. Because, um, but anyways, around this time it seemed like it was taking forever to get warm. And it was just cold, 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 cold. Now it's like unusually warm, which is great. Now we can go outside again. Um, so yeah, that's that. More leaves to clean up over here. But again, it looks like all the lights are in good condition, physically anyways. I'm sure a lot of them will have to be reseeded because they tend to lose their connection, but that's not hard at all to fix. So, yeah, looking pretty good out here. This tree, I don't know why this died. Last year I used this to hang the fan on. I don't know if it's still strong enough or not. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's a cheap th Lasco 3733 that I hang off here, so if it falls, whatever, it's not a big giveaway. 
got it out of the trash. Okay, this is a little bit screwed up. This is where I put the chair, so I have to fix that because I shouldn't be crooked like that. And then uh, the wall fell apart as usual. There's, I don't know, a drainage issue here or something. And those bricks always fall every year. But uh, three bricks, not bad. I can fix that easy. Got to get all the leaves out of here. The only thing I didn't clean very well in the fall, and I know this was that was a mistake because now the leaves are compacted in there from the snow and the rain. I didn't clean the leaves out of here, and that always takes some time. So I have to do that. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is much better. Not having all that that junk there. Much better. I don't know if I can make use of this area for something. Probably not. I was thinking maybe I could put the hammock here, but I don't think it's wide enough. So. That's that. I gotta put the outside light uh, transformer boxes out. And speaking of outside lights, I'm gonna do something this year that I've never done before. I'm going to add on this post here I'm going to add a high pressure uh, uh, sodium light onto this post so that we get a real good illumination of, of the area here and everything around it um, partially I want to do that because we've been having an issue here with bears bears is coming through and so if I had a nice bright light on the post here I'd be able to see you know if you hear something in the woods I'd be able to see out kind of far uh, see what it is you know plus I like high pressure sodium lights they have a, a certain nostalgia to them and they're becoming very scarce so I want to get my own put up here before they're too difficult to find and then this over here is where the bug, the bug zapper goes. That's still plenty strong. That's doing good. This is pressure treated wood, so it's it's doing okay. It's not really deteriorating at all. I have um, I have some. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I have some electronic, like uh, ultrasonic. That's what the noise is. I mean, that's the noise. The term is ultrasonic bug insect repeller things that I'm gonna try this year I had bought them for the mice downstairs and I use them and there's been no mice down there I don't know if it's because they're working or because something else so I'm gonna try them outside and see if they'll keep the mosquitoes away because we always do get a lot of mosquitoes here because of the water so um, we'll see how that works so I have to do a little bit of electrical work out here to get that um, the light over here and what else this is the old lighting system here it was it was buried deep in here there's still a trace of it somewhere so there's some lights here and there's a wire that goes under here and runs somewhere over there you can see it come out there I got to pull that out still that's the last remaining piece and um, that was a I may have some photographs of it I've got a lot of photographs of this place we'll do a we'll do like a show and tell video one day of uh, the history of what's been out here but I had all these lights out here at one point and I had a bunch of um, it was those actually on the stand you know they sitting in the ground and I had ran a low voltage to them because the solar wouldn't work back here because there's no sun so I had uh, some old well not old but broken cheap Christmas lights that weren't working so I scrapped those out and I kept the wire and I had ran the wires all along where these are and I had used that uh, on 1.5 volts for all those lights and that system ultimately was kind of a fail because I ran it off of a battery and I think had I ran it off of a transformer it would have been a lot better probably would have been totally adequate in fact but I got tired of messing with that and that's when I replaced it with 
with these uh, AC, well they're not, they're not really, they're, they're low voltage, 12 volts DC lights, but the input is, is 120 AC, so that's when I replaced it with these and there's been no problem since. I like these better anyways because they don't have that stupid LED trash in them, but uh, yeah, so that's that. I think I have some videos, in fact, of that, that old system up. I wish I had more documentation of that. The other thing I was kind of say at the sea go was these stools. And I had stopped using these last year, but uh, they're really starting to rot out. I should have stained them. I don't know why I didn't do that. I wish I had stained them. Those and then that other thing, it's broken apart now, but that that big ring, uh, ring that big stump shaving, I wish I saved that better too. But anyway, so that's that. And this is cleaned up a little bit now. Looks much nicer here, not having all that junk there. Should have done that years ago. Clean that up. So, that's day one. That's it for today. Do some more next week.